Okay, hi, this is Sean. I wanted to show you this house that's proudly listed by the Smack team, the Smack group. It's a nice wood trim and rock face on there. Stucco home, nice wide driveway. This house is on a 0.32 acre lot in the legacy subdivision that has exceptional landscaping, tons of water features, etc. They have the wrought iron fencing throughout this neighborhood so that you can see all the ponds and everything else in here. Notice the nice wide etched concrete, meticulous landscaping, covered front patio, full rain gutter system, nice tall front door here. And you're greeted with nice wide hallway, kind of your Sun Valley texturing. Coppered ceiling with crown molding. Oh, you're doing a good job. Yeah. We have an office off the front with the eight foot doors, nice and proud. With the trim work on here, closet, ceiling fans. Perfect office slash den. And first thing you'll notice here as you walk in is the, I don't know if the camera's getting up, but you can see the pond out there, straight through the front. But immediately when you walk in, you have a full bathroom here, which is not your guest bath, believe it or not. Nine foot ceilings, full tile bathtub here, linen closet. Notice how they extended all the way to the ceiling even. And then central back. You have a guest bedroom over here with a full bath, elongated toilets, granite countertops, and again, full tile. And this is nice because they did a, a shower that goes all the way there's not a shower tub combo, and that's great if this was a grandmother suite or what have you. With really nice built-ins here. Did you guys see the built-ins in the shower in here? You should look at these built-in shelves, it's real pretty. And then you've got the, the guest room here. Oh, and that shower. Again, ceiling fans. Really quality trim throughout the house. And then so off to the immediate right, we have the stairs going up to the big bonus room with a full bath. This goes to your laundry and garage. Hardwood and all the main walking areas. And then we get out to the creme de la creme family room. Beautiful decorative ceiling in here. Again, ceiling fans, built-in cabinets, fireplace with granite, hearth there. Huge dining area, beautiful kitchen. Got KitchenAid uh, four burner over there that also has the griddle. Nice pantry. Lots of uh, electrical outlets in there. Microwave and oven. Under cabinet lighting. Very open. But look at the, the size of this dining room. You fit a huge family in here. They have both the, the length and the width on that. And just a premium lot. So your backyard goes out to the pond here. You can kayak, swim, fish, whatever you want to do. It has the covered rear patio out here. I'll step out on real quick. This is nice brown ceiling out here. So again, ceiling fans. Low maintenance landscaping here. Tons of the, the medium to large lava chip bark. It's 
terrain setting. Extended concrete along the back here. Again, full rain gutters. This is wired for a hot tub if you wanted to, and this comes off of the master bedroom. And your neighbors aren't right on top of you here on this lot either. So point three, two. ACs back there. Some privacy here with these Arbor Vita. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. Okay. Again, beautiful island. And we'll head over to the master. Which is right here. Spacious master bedroom, which is uh, 17 by 15. Again, it also has the pond view and the door that goes out. Plenty of room for your furniture. You can see the view from here. There's yours truly. Hello. Okay, you have. This is a really luxurious bathroom. Notice that the drawers on the bottom on here for optimized space. Nice tub. This is tile floor. Beautiful granite in here. Nice tile work along the whole wall. Little beauty station here. And you have a nice deep Toilet area here. Again, nine foot doors. Nice dark hardware. And then a very spacious walk in shower with two heads, detachable, full tile with a step also, which is nice. Or a little seating, little seating bench, I guess. This has a timer right here. Flat panel electrical. The timer's for a vent fan, I believe. Now, this is really cool. Now, this was another closet over here, by the way. Go ahead, you guys. And then you have the huge closet with some built-ins. And this goes through to the laundry over here. It's equipped with sink, High quality cabinets with the molding, crown molding, the tile, and before we head upstairs, we have another, here's your actual guest bath. Kind of has the beadboard in here, pedestal sink, and we'll set out to the garage. Okay, heading out to the garage now. We have nice tall doors, fully finished, textured and painted. I don't have any lights on in here right now and it's nice and bright. It's 30 feet from that wall to the door. So you have room for storage basically everywhere. Along that wall, this wall, the far wall, this wall here. You can go crazy with the Costco storage racks. The house has a Central vac system, small workshop area with light. This is where you have your furnace, water heater. And then of course they're packing up here so they've got that loaded up. But again, you can see room for storage racks. Great condition. Okay, so we just left the garage. We came out this way in the guest bath right there. And we walked back up towards the front entry. It's another good look at it. We're gonna head up the stairs now. Just get your bearings. That is north, heading that direction. So the back of the house will almost always have shade, which is great for looking out at the pond. Straight shot up the stairs, which is nice, and it's also nice and wide. It's at least four feet across. Continued with a nice trim. And you have a nice big bonus room up here. With skylights. And 
and those have the retractable blinds there, which is great. Again, more ceiling fans, closet space. Continued with the granite up here and high quality tile all the way to the ceiling as well. Elongated toilets. And this also has a, another closet space in here. Pretty awesome. I didn't even notice that the first time I showed the house. Beautiful granite. Moen faucets.